So here's the situation. You've got some debt collector that is collecting against you, which that's fine if you really owe the debt. But they're going way over the line. They're being abusive. They're being harassing. They're calling your ex-mother-in-law. They're calling your coworkers. They're threatening you. They're putting false information on your credit report, blowing up your cell phone with a robot, whatever they're doing. And, and so you do your research, your due diligence, or you talk to a lawyer like me who sues these debt collectors, and you realize, yes, they have violated the law. Yes, this is a real company. In other words, it's not some crazy guy in mother's basement with a prepaid cell phone, you know, making stuff up that there's nobody to sue, in other words. It's a real company. They're really violating the law. But you go, you know, I'm scared to sue them. I mean, there are, they're calling my neighbors, my family members, my coworkers. They're putting stuff on my credit report. They're threatening to garnish my wages. I, I'm afraid to sue. Look, I get it. I understand. The reason they're so abusive towards you is not an accident. And it's really not because they just wake up one morning and go, oh, you know, I think I'm going to be incredibly abusive today because that's the kind of guy I am. That's not what they do. It's calculated. It's all planned out. They go, you know what? If I can make the consumer scared or even angry or embarrassed or frustrated, if I can get them really emotional, I can make them pay me money, even if as a debt collector, I'm not entitled to it. That's their thought process. So when they are violating law, calling your neighbors, calling your coworkers, calling your family, putting stuff on your credit report, making these outrageous, outlandish threats against you, they have no right to do. That's not an accident. That is absolutely by design and intent. And so it's very understandable to go, well, I don't want to like, you know, poke that bear anymore because if they're this way before we sue them, how will they be after we sue them? Let me tell you how they'll be after you sue them. Absolutely quiet. Because now they know they've been caught. And now they know everything they do is going to be examined. If we sue and then they call you, that's a violation of the law. They write you a letter, it's a violation of the law because you're represented by us. And now they have to answer to a federal judge. And I tell you, I mean, I've seen incredibly abusive companies. Again, I'm not talking about the guy with the prepaid cell phone in his mother's basement or, you know, offshore somewhere who's, you know, just doing identity theft and all that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a real company that is really being abusive towards you. When we sue them, it's like, boom, it just goes quiet. And then they go, oh no, we've been caught now. How do we get out of this? And so they start going through, can we say that we never called you? Well, we've accounted for that in the lawsuit. Can they say, well, we never really called your mother-in-law? Well, we have a statement from your mother-in-law and we have her cell phone records proving they called it. And then at some point they go, okay, we can't lie our way out of this. Let's figure out how to make this go away. How do we resolve this? And if the amount of money that they need to pay is right here and they offer this much, guess what? It doesn't get settled. It goes to trial. But if they offer the amount that's needed to be offered, then the case settles. So I understand some reluctance, being concerned about suing one of these guys, that they're already abusive. But when we sue these guys, they go away. Okay. They understand they cannot continue to collect against you while we're in the middle of the lawsuit. And part of the settlement is they have to really go away, leave you alone, never bother you again on this debt. And they have to pay money, which tends to really get them thinking, okay, how about we leave this person alone? Because here's the thing. If they abuse you and we sue them, and then we settle with them, and then they start abusing you again, you know what we do? We sue them again. We've had some of these places we've sued multiple times for the same person. It's like, you know, I guess they're just begging, wanting to pay my clients money. And who am I to stand in their way? I guess they need to do that. So I will help them to do that. We'll sue them again and again and again and again as many times as they break the law. So if you're in Alabama and you're dealing with one of these abusive debt collectors, give us a call, 205-879-2447 or alabamaconsumer.com. You can reach us there and we'll be glad to help you think through 
Should you sue them? Should you write them a letter? What should you do? And we'll help you do all that. And I appreciate you watching this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.